time to take a look at some of the rules when it comes to railing inspections. This after yesterday's railing collapse at the Moana Surf Rider. Today, the city's chief building inspector visited the hotel. Guests told us some balconies have been locked with zip ties. Nobody was seriously injured yesterday when the railing fell down to the beach, but some say a deadly collapse railing at Ala Moana Center back in 2016 should have been a wake-up call. Jen Boniza pressed officials and lawmakers on why more wasn't done sooner. Broken concrete and rusty rebar still exposed on the fifth floor of the Moana Surfrider after a portion of the railing came crashing down to the beach below Tuesday. Experts say it could have been avoided with proper maintenance and inspections. But the DPP says there are no laws or requirements outlining how often inspections be done on railings. I met with attorney Rick Freed, who says this is a tragedy waiting to happen. Well, I was shocked, frankly, when I saw that. It's really scary for, you know, people have little kids and they run out on the balcony and bingo, something like this could happen. Freed knows the disaster an unchecked railing can cause. He represented 21-year-old McCroy Nagato, who was crippled for life after a railing gave way in Ala Moana Center in 2016. 21-year-old Nicholas Freitas also died in that incident. Freed says that should have been the catalyst for change. And I was confident that that was it. Other people would pay attention. There wouldn't be any more railing issue. Former city council member Trevor Ozawa says they did try. In 2017, he introduced Bill 17. It would have required buildings three stories or higher to be inspected every five years, but it was shot down. The private sector um, indicated that they do regularly inspect and that this may be an added burden. Uh, the overwhelming testimony was uh, in opposition to the bill and to being regulated. Current Honolulu City Council Chair Tommy Waters says they are already going through a comprehensive review of the city's building code and says railing inspections will be added to the discussion. It's certainly on the table um, requiring inspections, but ultimately I think we need to work with the apartment owners associations work with the hotel management companies to figure out how to solve this problem because ultimately it really comes down to public safety and nobody wants to see anybody get hurt. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.